I spend an average of 18 hours a week playing video games. Whether it is casual or competitive, I play for the sheer enjoyment of it. I run my own YouTube channel, where I share my experience as a gamer with other people. Dedicating almost a whole month of every year to playing video games means I think a lot about playing. I know why I like to play, but I wanted to know what draws other people to playing video games. I play an average of about 14 hours of video games a week. I play 12 hours a week. Now that I'm done school, I'll definitely be playing almost 20 to 30 in my free time. I play games at least once a week. I'll say approximately 30 hours. Video games is a pastime for me, like sports is for other people. I play video games because it allows us to use our mind in some ways we didn't even think of. Most of the time, video games, they open up a reality to people that they're not usually experienced. I'm pretty sure never in your life you're going to be an Italian plumber, you know, jumping on Goombas and killing them. That'll never happen. I believe that um, video games have helped me because um, it allowed me to enter like a whole different um, world. I attend an all-boys Catholic school and many of the students I know play games. But I wonder if there is only one type of gamer. Are gamers all teenage males? I think the gaming community has a certain stereotype with ma which makes it look bad. The stereotype is like middle-aged men just kind of living in their basements with their moms. Like When I play World of Warcraft, I play with a 35-year-old lady from Canada, and there's a kid in my guild who's eight years old who kicks most of our butts 90% of the time, so it's varied. I work at a retirement community right now, and I've seen some old people playing Call of Duty. Once I began asking this question, I quickly realized that the gaming community is a lot more diverse than I had previously thought. I think of gamer as somebody who is particularly passionate about playing video games and really invested not just in, in playing games in general but also like in broader gamer culture. The mainstream gaming community, um, if you're talking about sort of AAA game design, I think that those have for a long time been very male dominated, very white spaces and so if you don't identify with a particular kind of cultural construction of whiteness, those are spaces where it's really easy to feel like you're an outsider. If you look visibly different from everybody else, it's really easy to feel left out and it's really easy for people to signal you out. As with anything in the universe where there is good, there is evil. In the gaming community, that evil reveals itself in many different ways. One way is through trolling and or swatting. Trolls are not the typical living under a bridge trolls. These are people who become hostile towards a specific type of gamer based on their race and or gender. Trolling or saying the most awful thing you can is part of the fun. It's been socialized into people to think that that's a fun thing to spend your time doing. That's how you harass people is by saying if really the most offensive thing you can. Usually racist things, usually homophobic things, and very often sexist and misogynistic things. If you can't take it, if you don't want to listen to that, you're not welcome in that online gaming space and you have to find other spaces to play in. While women and minorities play games, they are often criticized for talking about and sharing their thoughts on video games. Sometimes their views challenge or contradict what many male gamers think about video games. Anita Sarkeesian, a feminist game critic, was targeted by male gamers who disagreed with her views on how women are portrayed in mainstream video games. Because of her work, she was a target of death threats and online harassment. Unfortunately, she is not the only one who has been threatened with violence and harassed online. I think that is honestly ridiculous and I've seen it happen. One of my best friends in the game, I play with two girls. I play with my friend Missy, she's the Canadian girl. And I play with my friend Christine who I've known since I was like three years old. It's girls don't know how to play games. We don't trust you to do this because you're a girl. I feel females in video games can be represented in a different ways. Some in respectable ways. However, I've seen some examples where they are seen as frail or as damsels in distresses, such as in many of the Mario games where Peach is constantly needing to be rescued. In today's society, girls are expected to play with Barbies and makeup and dress up, but that's not how it is anymore. My girlfriend likes playing video games and that's what's amazing about her, that me and her can just sit down and play Mortal Kombat together or things like that. Coming from the gaming community myself, I have seen and experienced encounters with trolls in my years online. I have been falsely accused of being a little kid and was told to stay off the internet. 
Other times, I have been mislabeled as another race when I am not. In reality, I am Asian and I enjoy gaming online regardless of what other people say. Although conflicts are rising within the gaming community as well as in its culture, one fact remains the same. Video games are made for everyone and everyone deserves to play no matter who they are or where they came from.